Hello and uh, welcome to the June update of Socks and Chocks. Things are going really, really well. Um, we've delivered over a thousand pairs of socks already, uh, already gone to people such as the Good Shepherd Ministry, Cipher, Midland Heart, uh, Coventry Comfort Carers, uh, absolutely gone already, done and dusted. Um, along with a load of um, shoes as well that came from uh, Clogs UK, which was fantastic. Uh, proper nice uh, Doc Martin type boots as well, which is fabulous, really pleased with all that. Um, things are going really, really well. We've got lots of appointments booked for the next few weeks. Um, I know that in September, um, Trident Reach are hosting a Reach in the Park, Cannon Hill Park, and they've invited us along to have a Socks in the Park stall, which is fantastic. Uh, that should result some socks for us. Um, and also they're going to do something called Socktober, so let's see how that comes out. I'm sure we'll get us some socks and then we'll deliver those socks out to, to the people that need it, which is fantastic. Um, Really, really proud of it all, actually. Um, I think everybody's doing really well. Uh, Omara's done fantastic with her sponsored silence. She got £750 um, for keeping quiet for 48 hours, and she spent that on over 125 sleeping bags that went to Mag's Day Centre in Worcester. Um, they went to the Good Shepherd Ministry. Some went to Cypher, I believe, um, and some went to Commentary Comfort Carers, and then some went to a place up in Leeds that she uh, found, which is great. So, Socks and Chocks, didn't have to touch the money that's fine it's Amara's money she raised the money with a sponsored silence and she delivered it on our behalf to those places so thanks Amara um, everybody's doing great this is all about inspiring people there's been something on the net today um, doing the rounds about these little anti-homeless stud things that are in a doorway in London um, I think it was reported in the mirror certainly tweeting around at the moment um, you know what uh, Everybody gets really annoyed and, and fed up and, and outraged that these things happen, you know, and, and I agree, it's not, not very nice. But you know what? We've got to take some action. There's no point in griping or talking about stuff. We need to actually do something. Um, and I like to think that Socks and Chocks gives everybody the opportunity of doing something, even if it is just a, a, perhaps a young person who gets a bit of pocket money and they want to go out and spend a little bit of that pocket money um, on Socks and Chocks, that's fine. Uh, just do something. It's no good just sitting there talking about it. Let's actually do something. So hopefully Socks and Chocks does inspire people. I'm proud of everybody. We're doing really, really well. 2014 is going to be immense. We are going to make our 10,000 pairs of socks. We are going to make our um, 1,000 sleeping bags. We are going to make our 5,000 big bits or boxes of chocolates. And we are going to make our 1,000 other bits and bobs. Um, so let's make it happen, inspire everybody to do a collection and let's get it out there to homeless centres near yourselves. It doesn't have to come by us to the West Midlands, I mean, find your own. We've got people in Bristol and, and, and various other places, so please do that. Um, I found out recently that towels are really important, so we've got a little bit of a push on towels at the moment. If you've got any towels, please don't throw them away. Keep them, find a homeless centre near you or send them to us or whatever and we'll get them out. Um, homeless people do need towels. Anyway, that's the June update and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.